talking about Cuphead? No, I did not. They were, uh, somebody was talking about how it's all about memory and stuff like that, and I'm like, okay, so you give the person with severe learning disabilities and memory issues a game where you have to memorize patterns? Why are you people so sadistic? <laughs> well, okay, there is an aspect of Cuphead that is like that. I've not really played it myself it is, too much. It is completely but... that. You have, to, you have to figure out the pattern. Well, yeah, you do have to figure out the pattern, but a lot of it you can get first try if you really wanted to. If you if you have the reflexes for it, you can pass all the I phases don't have for the reflexes. Try. I'm not saying anything <laughs> that that you do or that you don't. Why can't I? I'm just saying that that no, it is. it was just funny. It was just us fucking around. I didn't get offended. <laughs> don't worry. I don't get offended no, that, by anything. That was not my concern at all. <laughs> uh, my concern is when people come in and say, "Well, it's all about memorization." Like Dark Souls is artificial difficulty. No, it's not. You can do all that stuff. First time through if you're good at the game. Isn't the whole thing with Dark Souls 1, and what I've been told multiple times, it's not hard. It's the shitty, uh, I guess the PC version has really, really shitty controls or something. They didn't port it very well. Um, the PC version? I, I played Dark Souls in the PC version, and the controls felt fine to me. I used a controller for it, so. But I think what most people's complaint with it is, is that the gameplay itself is really slow, and you have to... Uh, time things whenever you t you have to time your attacks and you have to time your defense you have i mean or rolling you have to time rolling uh if you get good at those mechanics the game's not difficult but after you get good at those mechanics everything you can do you can do based off reflex oh so like bloodborne because i'm really good at bloodborne yes uh, actually uh dark souls games the people who enjoy dark souls games don't tend to use shields and bloodborne you do not get a shield i yeah, mean you, you get do. that wooden shield you but get the wooden shit. shield, but yeah, yeah, but you've got no incentive to use it. Whereas in regular Dark Souls, you have all these different shields you have an incentive to use because it blocks damage. I'm not going to lie, I might use the uh, shield of Bloodborne to piss off the other players. I, I love using shields to parry. I don't ever block with them. <laughs> no, 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 when the other, when I, I, I was doing a match and I wish I had recorded it. I was with like two other players and one of the guys wanted to show off. So I mm -hmm. just stood there with the shield. <laughs> And it, I was I managed to dodge and block, and the guy was like trying to still show off that he's such a badass, and then he got killed in one hit. And like the <laughs> other guy and I just actually stopped moving, and we looked over and we're like, "Really? <laughs> Come on, man! This isn't even the hardest boss. This isn't that one. For, isn't that first boss from the DLC, which can go fuck itself? Was it yeah, Ludwig? Uh, I actually I actually agree with Eric there. Uh, oh, there's. A reason why a lot of people who want to look like they're good at the game who really aren't play Bloodborne. It's because it's the fastest game and the easiest game to get a grasp on. You have more frames in it to dodge. You have more frames on it to get in close to someone. You can always get your health back by slashing at them after they've hit you. Stuff like that. Uh, that stuff's not present in Dark Souls. It's not nearly as fast-paced. But you can play it similarly by playing fast-paced, dodging, and stuff like that. Oh, I it's, literally just like Bloodborne for games. the look of it. Like the... Yeah. The Victorian and the Cthu and the um, Lovecraftian. That's the only reason I really, really like it. I uh, I also enjoy that. <laughs> I I, lo I really enjoy the aesthetic to it. But the thing about Bloodborne that really, really captivates me is its a uh, its a uh, hit hit point system, where you get hit and then you can get your health back if you hit them fast enough. Uh, that way, you know, you have to have a little bit of a risk-reward kind of situation. You can either go in and get some hits at risk of being hit again for uh, losing more health, or you can stay away and just take the damage and cut your losses as it is. But... Okay, Anthony, please, for the love <laughs> of God, tell me Destructoid didn't actually say that. It's contra the Dark Souls of... What? There's no yeah, way no, they okay. actually said that. Uh... Yeah, sure. I mean... It wouldn't surprise me, but at this point, I'll take the headset off and walk away from gaming. <laughs> Hi, honey. Good morning, snuggle bunnies. How you no, doing? No, but that's that's wrong. Uh, you have to know, the Cuphead is the Dark Souls of tutorials. <laughs> GameStop. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, if anybody hasn't seen that, go on the GameStop Twitter. That is probably <laughs> the best thing I've seen all day. Oh man! <clears throat> All right, you're ready to go? How, how do how would it feel to know that even GameStop is shitting on you at that point? 
that poor man. He will never I mean, review another game again. I, I say that poor man, but I've also seen his other videos. <laughs> it's Apparently great. a couple of game special. journalists were saying that you should pirate Cuphead. And I actually looked into the story of the developers of, Pu of Cuphead, and if I find out anyone has pirated that game, I'm going to punch them. Those people they literally were willing to give up their house to make that game. Now they remortgage their house, they uh, they they quit their jobs, everything was on the line for this game. And it, it's been a success, so I, I mean Oh yeah, I'm I'm very happy it was a success, but then I see people like, Oh just pirate it. But why would you want to? Is you people? This isn't some I big triple A game, these are devs that gave up were willing to give up everything. I, I usually I don't mind if uh, people want to pirate a game or two. There are a couple of games that I look at and I go, please don't buy that game, or please don't uh, pirate that game, rather. Uh, games like Samus Returns, games like Cuphead. Samus Returns in particular because if that doesn't sell enough, then we don't get any more Metroid games, and I, I really like my Metroid games. <laughs> I see your but little pretty white that stuff doesn't bother me. Sorry. And normally, the reason why it doesn't bother me is because it doesn't affect sales at all. If someone were to pirate a game, it does not mean a lost sale for that person because those pirates would not buy the game in the first place. They would just go without. Um, but if you do get the chance and you do want to play the game, I would much rather that you bought the game uh, if it were in the circumstance that Samus Returns or Cuphead is in, or we won't see another one if you don't buy it. Yeah, if it's something like that, then yeah, support the hell out of them. And I don't like Nintendo right now, and I, I'd say support Sam Samus. Samus? Samus? How do you say the name? <laughs> Samus Aran. Okay. That's the way that they did right, it. I well, let you say it's it. supposed to be. I've always said uh, Aaron, uh, Samus Aran, uh, because that's just always how I pronounce it. But recently, I saw a couple of trailers where she was called Aran. I don't know if that's because they were pronouncing it incorrectly or what. But I've always hearing that, I was like, "Huh, Aran? Like... I've never heard that before. Let's try it." <laughs> well, it's like how um, and I and I love how many people have managed to piss off with it. Like, I'll say Godzilla character names wrong, because I'll say it phonetically, right. and it drives people nuts, and I, I know the actual names. It's just like how I say Akabar instead of Akabur, even though his name is Akabur. Right. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to drive people nuts, especially when the actual person you're saying is just fine with it. <laughs> um, are, are we ready to go? I'll start reading if we are. Yep. Just give me one second, because i got to send something to someone. Yep, you're good. Just let me win. So, chat. <sighs> How's everyone today? I see that we've now populated the chat. Yep, the chat's now full, which is what I kind of wanted to do. Goji I can Gojira! say Gojira. It's, <laughs> it's uh, King... G is it... G I think it's actually G Gaidora? Or is that how they say it? And I always Ghidorah? say it. Yeah, I've always said it, Ghidorah. And that, that drives one of my friends up. But, like, he will literally scream at me if I say that. <laughs> and I know what the regular name is, but again, it's hard for me to say certain things, so I just say it that way, and, like, finally his brother just hit him in the head and said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Hey, honey. Oh, you awake? Do you want your, um, you want your play toy? Oh, okay, here's your, here's your plushie. Come on, here's your doggy plushie. There you go. Okay. Go D Zile A. Godzilla? No, I don't, I don't think that's it, guys. I don't think it's Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. It's like the Mexican <laughs> way of saying it. Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm get Cuphead. Interested. Support it. Um, how do uh, how, how's everyone enjoying Cuphead? I haven't bought the game myself because I didn't. I'm not usually the kind of person that likes uh, running gun kind of games. <coughs> Excuse me, but I am interested to see what it's like because I do like the old cartoon aesthetic. I like it. It does remind me. It, see, everyone's like equating it to NES games, and I guess I must be really old because I remember the, the the difficulty in arcades. Mhm. Mm Hold on. Well, if everyone enjoys Cuphead, then I'm more than happy to try it out. I, I, I do like all kinds of games aside from fighting games and racing games. Those, those I do not really care for. Well, I guess I got my answer. <laughs> because we love you, Space. That is why. You are loved, and you don't have a decision. 
Hello, Tatsu. How are you? Sorry about that. I don't, what happened? No, no, no. There we go. Wait, didn't we already do all this? Um, wh where are you going? This is what we need. Uh, you're going forward. Go back. I'm an idiot. Right, right, yeah, right here. This is where we. This is what we need. Okay, we're good. What, Ruiner? Yeah, I've looked at that. I, I think. I think the actual devs. I think I've been contacted by the devs for a copy. I'm not, which reminds me, I have a game for you too. I gotta give you an extra copy of. Um. Mm. I think that's one I'm gonna be reviewing on Friday, but I have to check my email, and I'm too lazy to open it up currently. Um, but I've heard it's a good game. What is this other game that you have? What what am I expecting? Let me go grab the let me go grab the name of it. Give me a second. No, fuck it. You guys aren't getting Katawa Shoujo. Did you actually think we were gonna play a game? <laughs> Do we look like DSP to you? Not we. We are not DSP. That is for sure. Thank God. He only um, plays that the is best not the game. Games. I'm not sending him dark or shark dating sim. I don't hate you enough for that. Vla <laughs> Valnir Rourke. Val what? Hold on. I'll send you the store page. Did you actually just go into the other room to answer an I'm for me? Never mind. I have weird <laughs> ass friends. <laughs> the dev was nice enough to send me two copies. So. I I do like. What is this Valnick? Oh, Valnir Rock. Vikings. Valnir Rock. I got you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I multiplayer, like, so we can play it. About? Well, let's take a look. Online multiplayer, so we can play it. It is. It's an MMO. It's an MMO? Huh. How does it play, though? But, sorry, guys. We will we will get to the game eventually. I promise. Yeah, I'll give you the uh, code for it after the stream like if you want it. Like that No, it looks like it's a rust like. I get to be a Viking. What the fuck do I care? You're, you're right. You're right. Uh, what I was going to say is it seems like it reminds me of uh, the forest. But with not that aesthetic. Yeah, if if it's really good, we can tell Chrono and Koopa, and maybe we can all play on his on on Chrono's server. Sure. Because I can always get can. I can always um talk to the dev because the dev's really really nice. The dev team's really nice. Mhm. Mm Which I'm not throwing names around, guys. I I don't mean to sound like that. It's just that when they actually do contact me, I like talking to devs. So Valnir Rock. We'll uh, take a look at that later. <laughs> yeah. Again, let me know if you re if you are interested in trying it. See, Eric. Okay, I'll level with you here. There are fighting games out there that I like, but I only like the most casual of fighting games, and I I say that knowing how bad that sounds. You like Marvel versus <laughs> Capcom Infinity? No, no, I don't. <laughs> King Leak but bought that, and he is so mad that he bought it. Well, I do like uh, I like anime fighting games. Not, oh, you're I mean, a weeaboo. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to sound like a weeaboo. I am. But stuff like Blaze Blue. I like that everyone is so overpowered that it all kind of bounces out in the end, but there are still tier systems. I, I like that because I'm not competitive at it. I just play it casually, and it's fun. That's all there is to it. Oh, is that how you say it? I'm a, I'm a <coughs> casual, huh? I thought it was Blaze Blue. That's Blaze Blue. I'm retarded. <laughs> it, just, it has a weird spelling to it. Uh... But I, I've always enjoyed Wait, games like on, that, like okay. the Persona, or, the Persona Arena games. I like those uh, because it's the same way. All, all your characters are overpowered in one way or another, so it all kind of balances out in the end. Um, I yeah, like, I like I'm, I'm fighting casual. games. I'm just not like I, last one I tried was the um, the new Mortal Kombat X one. And dear God, can can Nether Realms please stop trying to give me carpal tunnel syndrome? <laughs> That shit hurt playing that. Like I did two matches and I was done. I couldn't hold the controller again. I do like Skullgirls. Skullgirls is a good game. Yeah, Skullgirls is good. Um, but the, at, the, at the same time, I'm not huge on the competitive scene. So of course, I'm not going to be. Like I'm, I'm never going to be the kind of person who likes to play fighting games. Competitive. <laughs> you're not gonna say. So, you're not gonna say you're the best player in all of America. Oh, of course, DSP. Who else? You know that that's why they're doing like it. <laughs> five or six years ago, right? Uh, what, ten years ago? Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. I've actually never hmm. played a Smash Brothers game. He played. He played in a tournament with like five people, and he won. And he he won't let that go. Great. Did he buy the? No, he didn't. 
I actually showed him that, and he couldn't stop laughing. I was going to buy the special edition because I like special editions, and I'm so glad I didn't. I would have returned it anyway. But he bought it, and so did one of my friends, and I got a text from both of them. And they don't like each other, but I got the same text from them that said, Oh, God, I've wasted 60 bucks. But I, I will say uh, there is a lot of merit to the competitive fighting scene, and if I were to watch someone play a fighting game, I'd want to watch a competitive Street Fighter game or a competitive King of Fighters game because that that's way more entertaining than the anime fighters. You have it's also breath. way more intensive. Oh, I'm sorry. Let, let me take a breath. <laughs> she got stinky breath. I don't. I'm sorry. She just came <laughs> up and she just she put her her face to my nose and went. <sighs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of merit to that, and I, I see that, and I understand that there are people out there who are, like, religious competitive fighting game people, and I appreciate that about them, but I will never be that person. I will never put the time into playing fighting games competitively because it's just not worth it, in my opinion. And, and uh, other people are going to like it. If is, they like it, then go for it. Is it weird that I'll only play, I, I only really enjoy a fighting game if it has a story mode? See... That's kind of where I am. I don't really like playing uh, games unless there is a story to it. Not to say that I like watching movies as games, like Uncharted 4. Not, not saying Uncharted 4 is a bad <laughs> movie. Uh, it's a very good movie. <laughs> I liked Uncharted 4. But I do like uh, having deep, immersive worlds with story. Like Dark Souls has a really vague story, but I love it for that aspect. I love it for the aspect of it being uh, really challenging as well. I also love its uh, gameplay. It's design. It's a good game. Well, I really liked Injustice 1 for the story mode. Oh, that story mode was... Wow. I I, I've got no yet, clue though. where Soul Calibur falls. <laughs> I played You're some Soul Calibur. What's the point of that game? It's... Like, I've, I've looked into... Like, I did one of them that had a story mode. It was really, really weird. Like, it's about a sword or something? I've heard of Project Zomboid. Um, I've seen... I've seen stuff around it, but I've never played it myself. It's I've, I've Ash. Never, I have got it. Never bought it. Uh, Tatsu, DBC fighting games are really hit and miss. Uh, there, there are some games I'll play with my friends, and I'll be like, man, that was a lot of fun. Then there are other games that I play, I'm like, that was, that was absolutely We gotta crash. do Xenoverse <laughs> together. Xenoverse is not a fighting game. Shut up and just say, have you seen the new one? It looks so good, it looks so good, it looks so good. And if one more fucking person imes me about Android 21, I'm gonna smack everyone. Oh, the, the new, there's a new Xenoverse? No, the the dragon, the ones that are being made by uh, the guys that make Blaze Blue. Oh, you mean the new fighting game? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, oh. I have seen that. That does look good. I'm gonna put money into that special edition. No one can stop me. That one's gonna <laughs> be mine. I like Dragon Ball Z. Also, no, thank you to the 50 people that sent me Twitter messages going, "Oh look, Suka's in the game." <laughs> <laughs> stop being funny. Ten minutes into it. Well. Uh, when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, I, I tend to like things that are a bit more on the Xenoverse kind of, of side of things. I actually got Xenoverse 2 just recently. I know it's been out since forever, but bear with me. I got it recently, and I uh, actually have it that I'm playing it right now on the Switch. Oh, I was going to see if you had the PC version, then we could play together. If You have for PC? Yeah, I have for PC. Somebody I'm sent it to me during uh, the, the summer sale. Cool. Well, I, I can get it for PC. That's fine. I still need I mean, to get the uh, DLC though, because that never goes out. That never goes on sale, which makes me mad. Well, my my thought process was it's here for uh, it's here for Switch. I might as well have it so I can play it on the go. I can play it mobile. Is there anything special with the Switch uh, version? Um, uh, not that I know of. Aww. It has DLC just like the other one does. Uh, no special I mean, outfits. Not that I know of. I all it is is it says for Switch on it, and I think that's it. I, like I said, I only re originally got it because I didn't have it for a PC, and I thought, well, I might as well. I have a physical copy of it. I might as well get it for the Switch so that I can play it on the go. Oh, supposedly, um, isn't um, Capcom going to be making a new announcement about a Mega Man game for Christmas? A, a new Mega Man game? Let me see if it's actually got an announcement yet, because I just saw something on it yesterday. I, I severely doubt that. I don't think any more Mega Man's coming out. I don't think that's ever going to happen. It says Capcom could be making a Mega Man announcement in December. <laughs> it's for the 30th anniversary, that's why. I, I don't know, man. Really? It came out in 87, so it's a year after... Well, technically Arcana, a few months after. Arcana Heart 3. Uh, what is what is that? I need to look <clears> that. Welcome, welcome. 
We're gonna get to the game eventually. <coughs> yeah, we just like uh, blurbing about cool stuff before that. Love Max Six Star. Let's take a look at this. Are you enjoying your two toy snuggle bunnies? I'm gonna give you a treat to because you got stinky breath. Oh, it's a 2D fighting game. Oh, it's an anime fighting game with cute girls in it. Oh, I think I've seen that one before. <laughs> Sorry if you guys hear bags rustling. New character introduction stuff. I just want to see gameplay, man. Calm down. It doesn't look bad at all. You get your treat. Good girl. Sit Why back. is she topless? Why is there a top? She doesn't even have pants on. What am I saying? She's not just topless. She's naked. <laughs> you like that? That's going to help your teeth. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently naked people help my teeth. You heard it here <laughs> first, guys. I like this. Stop going after what I'm saying. <laughs> good girl. You're good girl. Well, I, uh, yeah, here's the thing with uh, Mega Man. After the last couple of things that we got from them, I think, like, they, it seems like they've dropped Mega Man, and the last couple of games that we got from them weren't all that great. I mean, they weren't bad. Well, they weren't the best things. Was that, that like so, Mega Man Ten? Yeah, they they Fuck brought out game. the new, they brought out the new Mega Man with the the new Aqua Woman boss. That is literally <laughs> the only Mega Man game I've ever played, and the first time I played it, I got laughed at. So I, I hate Mega Man. <laughs> I uh I I enjoyed Mega Man. I enjoyed it back when it was first a thing, but it got overshadowed because I played Mega Man and then I played Metroid and I went, wow, Metroid's just a better game. I I never stopped. <laughs> playing Metroid <laughs> Um Well, we already know Capcom has let um what's the one with the dog? Shit. Wolf thing. Hey man, I uh I like the Star Force and Battle Network ones just because of the RPG aspect. But the stories are usually retarded, you're right. <laughs> well we all know Mighty Number no. Nine is a superior game. Oh, indubitably. So, not Fan even kidding, I got the special game. edition for $5. It came with three codes for the game. <laughs> and, oh, and the physical copy of the game, which gave you a download for two versions of the game. Two versions of the game? What game are we talking about? Mighty Number no. 9. Oh, yeah, that. That game. It, that that, it that was trash. So Garbage. special. I got so many free copies of that game that I just gave out to people. And they were so mad at me for giving it to them. <laughs> That's a way to break a friendship, is give them Mighty Number no. 9. That, that, is, that is some real disdain you had for that person. You yeah, Darkstalkers. Dark no, I like Darkstalkers. I want another Darkstalkers Dark game. is a great game. I used to play that when I was just little. Man. I want a Darkstalkers with voice acting and a story mode that is just as retarded and, and like generically monster as possible. That would make me happy. Did you see the uh, Darkstalkers movie? <laughs> The anime one? Yeah, there, I mean, there are two movies. Yeah. There's also the American cartoon. Have you ever seen that? I, I have seen I have, I have seen both of them, yeah. I, ha they, I have the DVD. One of them is absolutely awful. That's the cartoon. The anime one was, it was pretty okay. It was fine. I love the animation for it. <laughs> no, we will get to the game. I promise, guys. <laughs> Anyone that's now, Eric, just arrived gotta... for the first time, they're like, yay, why isn't they playing a game? I've got to disagree. I enjoyed Metroid way more than I enjoyed Mega Man. It's a uh, one linear run through the level kind of game versus another that you can go through many different rooms and backtrack and th there's just more to it. Meanwhile, I was playing Super or I was playing Mario. Wait. That yeah. <laughs> I didn't have many games growing up. That's why I'm it, so, like, into gaming now is because I only got to play... Like, I very rarely got new games when I was a kid. Yeah, okay. Azure Striker Gunvolt. I've been thinking about buying that because I do like I do like the uh, Mega Man, you know, pick a stage, go through it. And I like the gameplay of the ZX games, which is what it looks like we're getting close to with uh, Gunvolt. So I've heard it's a good game. Uh, I'm just not sure it's going to be my thing. Oh, yeah, I know it? Bayonetta has an anime movie. It's just as fucking terrible as the Devil May Cry one from what I've heard. They didn't even get the voice actress to be Bayonetta. <laughs> Which, why would you even do it then? It's going to be an experience. We're going to have to stream it one day. 
Yeah, actually, I, what I need to do is I need to go and do all the Persona 3 movies and just watch them back to back on stream with people. I I'm okay with that because I want to watch them. Are they? they well, they're not and, translated, are they? They are. Why do you well, do this to me? They, they're, they're, they're subbed. So you would have to uh, read, but it is very good. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow.